I get asked a lot as somebody, again, if you know my history, if you know my story, if you listen to my podcast, I've always grown up going to a chiropractor, um, doing herbal treatments. My mom gave me wheatgrass at like 10 years old when other people were getting um, gummy vitamins. So I've kind of always been on this trajectory of natural health and healing and going to school as integrative medicine. People are like, how do you feel about the like current medical system? What's your opinion on like medications, things like that? So I'm going to tell you. I'm going to school for integrative medicine because I feel like our medical system is has its place. I feel like a lot of what they offer has a point and has value, especially, especially in emergency situations, especially when people do not look at their health and their lifestyle as contributing to their dis-ease, which is the majority of the population. However, what I teach and what I share and what I educate on is a healthier, more holistic look at health. It is not the savior at the end. It is not the surgery that's required when you've done nothing as far as preventative services, when you've um, you know, never worried about what you're eating, when you've never worried about if you're exercising, when you've never watched your thought patterns, when none of these things have, have ever been done, that is a really great place for Western medicine because they address only the physical issues. They address only the physical symptoms. Now, the physical symptoms typically don't just pop up out of nowhere unless it's like a broken bone, right? You're like, ah, I tripped and I fell and broke my bone. But things that are chronic, which is well over 90% of what people go to the hospital for and doctors for, is actually something that's a lifestyle issue, which is where myself and other people in the holistic medicine um, or, or um, excuse me, the like natural world, that's where we come in. I think that both can exist and coincide and complement one another. I don't think you eradicate one or the other. I think what you do is you start to look at what you're eating, how you're living, the thoughts that you're thinking, the environment around you, the um, connection that you have to nature. You start to look at all of these things in the way that you live and you start to address some of those things and you'll start to watch a lot of the other things that people are going to the doctors for start to dissipate. Do I think one is better than the other? No, I think both serve their purpose. I think we rely too heavily on Western and allopathic medicine as opposed to looking at our health as a whole lifestyle. Our health is something we live every single day. We don't only just pay attention to it when it's screaming. It always whispers first. Energy starts as a whisper. You don't pay attention to your health until it's a scream. Follow me for more information on energy medicine and holistic living.